Hi everybody, thought I'd do my June and July favorites and just bundle them into one. Um, I've got a few stuff here, so I'll just jump right in. Uh, first off is this um, cleanser from Philosophy, the Purity line. Uh, this is a, it's a three-in-one makeup remover. I don't use it necessarily to remove makeup, but it's a great face wash. I've been really loving the fragrance. It's nice and light, and it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped. Um, next up is the toner that I bought in the spring. I'm, I'm about halfway through the bottle now. Uh, I'll definitely repurchase this. I'm using it maybe two to three times a week, and it's really still amazing. The glycolic acid 10% toning complex um, does a good job. Still get that nice little tingly feeling, and it feels like it's working. Um, something new that I picked up maybe three weeks ago it's uh, by Peter Thomas Roth again. It's 75% uh, hyaluronic acid complex with silk proteins. And this has the ability to draw in like a thousand times its weight in water from the air. So I just take one pump, put it in the palm of my hand. It's very water-like with a tad of a gel feeling, but this ever so slight and apply that and it it helps kind of plump up your wrinkles i mean i'm not saying that it's uh juvederm <laughs> you know but it it makes your it does definitely help to plump up the areas that you find wherever your lines are the most it does give you something so um this hydrated feeling and it soaks right in because i will continue to layer on the rest of my products after I just feel like this gives gives your skin a little extra uh, plumpness but enough about that uh, next is um, a sunscreen that is actually well it's a silky sheer BB SPF 50 I didn't buy it for the BB factor it's very light it has little uh, you have to shake it up it's very water like it's it has a little nozzle like that what I wanted was it's tinted so when you apply it you don't get that white cast for starters and this is extremely light and silky you just put it on and it's blended in your makeup goes on over it fantastic um, it might have a little hint of color but you know not enough to say that okay you're gonna go out with that and that's all you know you need but for me it's not necessarily the BB benefits whatever they might be uh, it was more i just thought it'd be kind of cool to have a tinted spf so spf 50 every day and it's easy to wear it's sometimes you know you dread wearing spf on your face but that is fantastic and i think it's relatively new another thing that i started using this um was back in may my sister got me into this and i've been loving it i have not worn foundation all summer it's been the, the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB and mine is in the medium deep. Um, I Like I said, I have not missed wearing foundation. This with concealer, of course, I need concealer, hyperpigmentation and, and so on, but it's been so comfortable. It has an SPF of 30 as well, but um, when in summer, kind of feel like I need a little bit ramped up. Um, something came upon not long ago and it's this um, by mark anthony it's a hydrating coconut oil and shea butter 10 times the hydration um, it's a hand cream and it has it has a really nice smell i didn't sample it in the store but when i got home when i first put it on i thought oh it's a bit intense but um it's kind of grown on me i just find that it gives you nice hydration um, and yet doesn't leave you feeling um, greasy after. It's not like you know, the palms of your hands don't feel like you can't touch anything because it's too greasy. Um, so that's been, that's been really, it's the first thing I've ever tried by Mark Anthony. Uh, next was hair, Infusium. I used to use this stuff all the time, years ago, like many years ago, and I don't know why I stopped using it. This stuff is fantastic. It's been around forever. This one's the Moisture Replenisher, and it's a spray-on, leave-in. And what I love about this stuff is that it doesn't weigh your hair down like I have the 
Ojan oil, I have a John Frieda um, oil, I've used Moroccan oil, and all of those you can put in that little bit too much and now your hair is just limp and looks greasy and you just washed it and you can't get it out. The only thing you got to do is, you know, rewash your hair. So this I have not had. You spray it in or you spray it in the palms of your hand, run it through your hair. It leaves your hair really soft and if you're prone to tangles, that'll take care of the tangles and yet it doesn't weigh it down. So it's really good and the best part is it's not a fortune. It's maybe a around the five, six dollar mark. So that's fantastic. Uh, another thing I picked up, I had an older version of this and since I've been wearing my hair more straight, this is the L'Oreal Studio Line Silk and Gloss 24 hour, 24 hour volume mousse and it has um, like silk proteins in it, silk microfibers in it. And that, I, I know that's true in the sense that when I touch it, my hair feels a lot more silky and and normally my hair is very prone to frizz. It has a natural wave in it and the combination of the Infusium and this as styling products have been working out really well for me and I've been enjoying that a lot. Okay, I'm babbling on. Um, next, I love Caudalie and the Beauty Elixir. The smell of it is heavenly. It's fantastic i i love it i love it now what it's actually doing it says it stimulates you know your circulation micro circulation or whatever i just i love doing applying it just for the smell for freshens up your makeup or even first thing in the morning uh, when i when i'm up before i've done my routine and i'm just feeling a bit sluggish a little spritz of this shake it up smells so fantastic it's either one of those things either you love or you hate but I will buy that again for sure um, next up was just something from uh, makeup wise I've had this palette for a while it took me forever to get into it but this summer I've been really wearing this it's looking a bit pink here but it's more on the corally pink and it's color crave in the uh, Tarte palette that came out uh, around the holidays last year and well I've worn them all but I really um, plus you have Park Avenue Princess which is one of my favorite uh, bronzers and um, Crave Dazzled and Darling I think this one is anyways really like I like them all I mean but I've been wearing that one a lot and I've been enjoying that another thing was this Mac um, this was in the To Catch a Sailor uh, collection from a few summers back and honestly I had not gotten into um, this bronzer at first I just I don't know it comes it it pulls off a bit a bit sheer and I maybe I just wasn't uh, using it correctly at first but this summer I I took it out and I said you know it's sitting there it's going to waste let me see if I can work with it and what kind of helped is I picked up this little uh, retractable kabuki style. It says it's a, um, it's a powder bronzer brush and it's uh, Ion Beauty. So it's a synthetic um, brush. I think it's Taclon, very soft, very dense. And I didn't have anything with that style. And I find that um, with the bronzer and this brush, it's been working fantastic. Plus, I like the fact that it's... it's um, you know, you can put it in your purse and it doesn't get damaged. Another thing on uh, brush-wise, I picked up uh, the MAC 109. Um, I just love how it's like I have the Real Techniques contour brush. And they're similar in size, but this is much more domed. Uh, I mean, I love this too, and this has been working fantastic for concealer. Love it. But I, this one I, I had wanted because I like that it's very precise. You can do contouring, you can apply your blush with that, and it has that flat top on it. It's very dense, and I've heard a lot of people complain about shedding, and honestly, I think I have lost two hairs out of this in the, about the month that I've had it. So I've been loving it, and I just feel <laughs> thankful. I think I got a good batch, so that, that two have been really enjoying that. and. Um, a recent color tattoo that I picked up is the um, 
barely branded and I have that on today under my eyeshadows and I just sort of left it um, more exposed towards the inner corner and these are so nice I mean I'm definitely going to pick up something out of that suede they have suede collection coming out or whatever so if I can get my hands on that for lips um, this is just like a baby buxom um, I think the color is Tanya I have it on now um, normally I don't gravitate to anything that's too bright it's definitely on the coral side it looks a bit pink in the camera but it's very coral um, I love buxom that lip buzz feeling that you get either you love it or you hate it so this is just a baby one that came I think in a points thing that I had and I had never opened it so I said this year I'm gonna put on something a little bit brighter but it's still somewhat sheer at the same time so I've been loving that and that kind of kicks off that the couple of the more more worn um, nail polishes from Essie this summer that I have is enough is enough which is kind of coral and I know the camera doesn't show it that well but it's corally corally orange and another one that I've loved for a while and that's watermelon and what I have on today which doesn't show up that well but my nails were chipped um, I've used a, quite a bit of this this is a starter wife and it's just a go good go-to when you don't want to have bare nails and it just makes you feel like you have a little something on so it's having any kind of um, barely there color is always nice to have for me <sighs> okay <laughs> and we're getting into eyeshadows the most used eyeshadows were I didn't reach for my palette as much I've been sort of into the loose shadows that I picked up in the spring and this one's era this is corduroy arena it's a nice peachy bronzy peach and this is wedge and I've been using these pretty much every day in one combination or another for most of this summer. I even brought them when I was away in May and I haven't sort of delved into my other colors as much. Um, and then the most worn highlighter is Soft and Gentle. It's I have it on now. It's such a absolutely gorgeous, I love this, beautiful champagne-y, beige -y. that's I love it anyways I think that's it <laughs> so anyways uh thanks for watching and have a good day bye